Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos, back with a very quick case card class and it is another one in our Daisy Delight series and just loving the colours on this card, super fast, super easy, let me tell you what you're going to need to make this card. So we are using the Daisy Delight stamp set and also, also the sentiment, um, the sending wishes your way from Butterfly Basics. Let's go and move these out the way. We're also using layering oval framelit dies. And we're using powder pink um, card base, which is, we've got a little mark on there, um, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have Tranquil Tide, and we have a Charlie Asbo. Tranquil Tide, which is four by five and a quarter. Then we have Very Vanilla, which is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And then some of the DSP, Delightful Daisy DSP, which is five by three and three quarters. You will need a scrap piece of Very Vanilla and then a piece of Very Vanilla for the inside, which is five and three eighths by four and one eighths. You'll also need a scrap piece of Tranquil Tide. And what I have already done is cut out two layering ovals and that's so that you just um, stamp your sentiment and do it around that so you'll see what I mean in a minute so I have already gone ahead and cut those out so let's pop them over there and this has been cased from Pinterest and was put on there by Laurie, Laurie, sorry, Laurie Jennings right okay let me show you I'm going to have to move you Charlie because in a, in a minute you can get on there I have four cards set up to make so all of this area is just completely chock-a-block and he doesn't like it so let's move all of these pieces out of the way for a second and we'll do our stamping so what we need to do is take the daisy um, stamp and oh my inks we're using tranquil tide And you need two daisies. Like that. And then we also need the sentiment. And then what we need to do is just um, put an oval around that there and cut that out. But so you can either cut this out and then put the sentiment on or do it that way, then cut it out. I did it Irish then, didn't I? Nothing against Irish, just very Irish. Oh, this is saying, I shouldn't have said that, should I? Oh dear, goodness me. Oh, I'm going to get myself in trouble today because I have too many things set up here. So... I think you got what I meant. I like to cut my oval out first, then stamp on it, um, or you can stamp it and then cut it out and you need an oval that's obviously bigger, so they're two straight ovals. So I have really done that really weird, haven't I? So you know what? So I don't need to go to the big shop. I am going to do what I normally do. Oh my goodness me, do you know it's only 8 o'clock in the morning here and I have four gorgeous grandkids having their breakfast in the other room and I prepped these last night while they were in bed see that's what I normally do so I think you knew what I meant I was just oh, I'm not sure if that just stopped or what happened oh my goodness I mean, my phone is playing up so we're burnishing that I'm going to ignore that little mark on my card I don't know how it got there I'm going to take the tranquil tide And we're going to pop that down like that. And then we have, now you want the smaller of the Whisper White. Make, don't make the mistake I did, so the smaller piece, the bigger piece is for your inside.
like that, and then our DSP. Like that. And then all that's left to do is to put the inside piece in. Like that, and then put our daisy up there and glue our sentiment on to the tranquil tide oval, and then we're going to put some. Where did I just put my dimensionals there? Right, I don't know if you can hear the TV in the background, so I do apologise if you hear some weird shouting or weird noises. And we're just going to, oh, I think they're watching some YouTube <coughs> videos actually. Right, okay, I'm going to pop that there, and there is your <coughs> very quick. Uh, case card class in the Daisy Delight series and look at that that's just gorgeous now you might notice that one looks a bit different to that one I did try and use some uh, glossy accents on it last night to see if I could you know make a nice centerpiece but my glossy accents is quite old and I don't think it worked very well it looks nice but it's not glossy um, so that's probably why it looks different but um, I hope you've enjoyed this case card and I shall see you later for a couple more uh, thank you for watching don't forget my weekly giveaway um, and you the winner will be announced tomorrow so all you have to do is to subscribe and leave a comment on this video or any of my videos um, to have a chance to win five of my cards okay thanks for watching take care see you later bye bye